Is your lake water giving you grief? Are you concerned about the safety, taste, smell, discoloration, or staining caused by that lake water and need to know where to start so you can fix it? You've likely heard of tannin filters, ultraviolet disinfection systems, and even reverse osmosis system. What do all those water filtration systems actually do? Do you really need all of them for your family? And if you do, what order do they go in? Relax, I'm going to explain exactly what you need to get the best lake water filtration system for your family starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. This video is perfect for you if you're a home cottage or cabin owner and you're concerned about your lake water but you're confused about what you need to do to get it fixed. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what a lake water filtration system consists of, what each component does, what it's called, and in what order it needs to be installed in to make sure it works properly for your family. And I'll detail next steps to getting your lake water fixed. So follow along as I take you through our lake water infographic and explain what each phase does and why or if you might need that phase for your family. Basically, we start by removing the dirt from your water, then we remove the color or anything else that might be causing any staining. Then we make sure the water is disinfected with an ultraviolet light to make sure it's bacteria free and safe for your family. Let's check it out step by step. So as I mentioned, you can see that the water starts off at A, that's your lake water, goes through your pressure tank, we remove sediment or dirt, there's a number of ways that we can do that and I'll explain each one of them. Then we go through a tannin filter, if you have brown water that's tannins, then we go an ultraviolet disinfection system to make sure the water is safe and bacteria free for your family, then we feed it to your whole home cottage or cabin. And then if you want to have an extra layer of um, super pure drinking water, we add a reverse osmosis drinking water system. But do you really need all of these? Well, maybe, maybe not. It really depends on your water quality and a couple other parameters. But let's go through each one of these in detail. I'll be giving a brief description of what each of these products do and how they work. But if you're looking for more information, I've got in the description down below, I've got links to YouTube videos that explain each one in detail. So the first stop for your water is the pressure tank. So a pressure tank is a bladder tank, which means that it's about half water and about half air. The more water that's in there, the more it compresses the air. That compressed air pushes the water out of that bladder tank. So the reason you need that is because if you didn't have a, a pressure tank, every time you ran a little bit of water, even for like a cup of water or something like that, the pump would have to go on and turn off, go on and turn off. So normally throughout your, your day when you're using water, most of that water flow and that water pressure comes from your pressure tank. And what that does, it minimizes how many times your pump com go, comes on and turns off during the day. And it makes your pump last a whole lot longer. So you definitely need one of those to start with. So the next thing we need to do is remove the sediment or dirt from your water. So there's a number of ways that we can do that. So one very popular method, especially for lake water, is using a spin down filter. So it's a very simple device. Water flows in through this side, flows out through that side, and the dirt accumulates on the filter that's inside here. Once the dirt has accumulated and you want to clean this filter, there's a valve that goes on the bottom. You just open up that valve and it flushes out the water. Now this is a manual filter. In other words, you're gonna to have to manually open up that valve. To, to, how often depends on how much dirt is in your water. It could be every few days, it could be once a week. But you do have to manually open that valve to flush it out. So another popular way of removing sediment from your lake water is by using a polypropylene filter element like this one here, cartridge filter, and using it in a filter housing like this one. So one of the beauties of this system is you can use different grades or different microns, different fineness of the filters inside the filter housing. You can even use dual gradient filters. In other words, filters that are coarser on the outside and finer on the inside to maximize filter life. So, but again, you would need to change this filter um, element from time to time. How often? Well, it really depends on how much water you use and how much dirt is in your water. The filter element would need to be replaced at least once a year or sooner if it becomes clogged and slows down the water flow for your home cottage or cabin. So both of those require you to do maintenance on those systems. Is there a maintenance-free system? Absolutely. You can go with a Hume automatic backwashing sediment filter like this one here. So the beauty of this system is you run the water, the water accumulates inside the tank and gets stored in there. And about every four or five days, it automatically backwashes and flushes all that debris to the drain. There's no filters to change. There's no chemicals to add. A lot less maintenance for you. If your water's brown or has a weak tea color to it, that's tannins. 
So what's tannins? Well, tannins is a coloration of a liquid, in this case water, that's being caused by an organic. And what the organic is, is decomposition of uh, leaves and twigs and that kind of thing is tinting the water. Now, you may have heard of tannins in reference to tea or to wine. Those are tannins. So we need to remove the tannins uh, from your water to clean it up. So you need a filter for that. So a tannin filter looks like a water softener, works like a water softener, uses salt like a water softener. In fact, typically uses more salt than a water softener does. But it, how it differs is what's inside the tank is totally different than a water softener. Water softener won't remove tannins, only a tannin filter will. And by the way, if you're looking for more information about any of the products that we're talking about here today, you can go to our websites, either watereastore.ca in Canada or watereastore.com in the US. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. So we've removed the dirt and the sediment from your water. Then we remove the color or the tannins from your water to make sure it doesn't stain your fixtures. The next step is to make sure your water is safe and bacteria free for your family. To do that, we use one of our Hume Safe Water 10 Ultraviolet Protection Systems. And basically how these systems work is water flows from this side into this side and flows out through this side. So the first stage of the, it's a three stage system. The first stage is a sediment filter. I know what you're thinking. I thought we already got rid of the sediment. This is a very fine sediment filter. So the automatic backwashing filter or the spin down, they do the heavy lifting, but this does the fine filtration. The second stage is a carbon filter. So carbon is a taste and odor filter, but it also removes chemicals from your water, like herbicides, pesticides, that kind of thing. And then the last stage is the ultraviolet light that kills the bacteria. And then the water goes onto your home cottage or cabin, bacteria free for your family. So now that your utility water has been taken care of, you may want to further purify your drinking water. So for that, you would use a reverse osmosis drinking water system like this Hume Water Saver 75. So what this does, it further purifies your water, again, but this isn't for the whole home cottage or cabin. This is just for one faucet at the kitchen sink. Also, if you have a water dispenser in your fridge or ice maker, you can connect it up to that. So reverse osmosis, um, takes your water and forces it through a membrane, a very dense membrane. So it's forced under pressure through that membrane. The low mineral content, super pure reverse osmosis water gets stored in a tank. The high mineral content water gets flushed to the drain. When you, when you require water at your, like I say, at the faucet at your kitchen sink or at, uh, from your fridge, um, the, the water comes from the tank and replenishes that. And so for anyone in your family that might be a little bit squeamish about drinking lake water, even after it's gone through the ultraviolet disinfection system, the um, reverse osmosis system creates just another barrier. And again, it really cleans up your drinking water. All right, so let's have a look at what the whole system looks like. So again, you're starting off at A up here, that's your lake. The water goes through to your pressure tank. And then from there it goes through any one of either one or two of these um, sediment filters, depending on which route you take and depending on how much sediment there is in your water and how much water you use, which one you go for. And then from there, it goes to the tannin filter. Now, if you have tannins in your water, in other words, if you fill a white bucket and you see color in there, that means you have tannins and you would need a tannin filter. If you don't see any color, you don't need the tannin filter. Then from there goes the ultraviolet disinfection system to make sure the water is safe for your family in the whole cottage cabin or home and you can see it goes up here oh and it can also feed that reverse osmosis drinking water system for just that one faucet at the kitchen sink and if you have a fridge that has a water dispenser and an ice maker it feeds that so what do you need for a lake water filtration system for your family we'd be happy to make a recommendation but we would need some more information before we can help you we need to know your water chemistry. In other words, we need to know if there's tannins in your water and how much tannins you have and some other parameters like pH. And there's some additional information we also need to know about your home cottage or cabin. If you don't have a lab report, no problem. You can always mail us a water sample and we can test it for you. All you need to do is mail us a water sample to Water Store, 1004 King Street, Midland, Ontario, L4R0B8. We offer free testing. Once you've had your water tested, just go to the link in the description down below that has our lake water information form. Just click that link, print off that form and fill in the information. Take a picture of it with your smartphone and email it to us or just scan it and email it to us. We can put together a recommendation of what's the best lake water filtration system for your family. Click here for your next video on lake water filtration and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I read them all, I'd love to answer yours.